Hey, what's up you guys? Your girl Toy back with another video. It is the end of February. So you know what that means. That means it is time for the monthly what I read this month video rating and review. Oh, I'm so excited. So this month I actually read four books. So let's just Good job, Tori. Like, mmm. Anyways, y'all don't really care about this intro portion. So let's just get straight into the ratings and reviews. Okay, so the first book I read this month was The Perks of Being a Wallflower. This there's a little glare on it but um i will say i read this probably in like junior high uh so years and years and years ago there's also a movie and i remembered liking both the book and the movie obviously because i kept the book all these years um this book is it's good it's good it's heavy it's heavy. There are parts of it where I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, you just feel for the main character. Um, and the thing that, you know, right from the beginning, I was like, I know I'm going to like this book. Because it's actually written in, like, letters. Like, it's written, like, you know, the date. And then, you know, it has him, like, signing off. I love when books are written like that, like through letters or you're reading emails or texts. I just love that format. Um, so immediately I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be my thing. But I did not expect it to be as heavy as it was. And to have the drama that was in it. And the end, literally like the last page you get the massive revelation in the book and I was literally crying I was crying it is incredible it's I was not expecting the revelation and they literally he literally gives it to you in like the last sentence and you're reading it and you're like okay and it just ends with this gigantua revelation and I have not stopped thinking about it since I read it. I have not stopped thinking about the revelation. It is stuck in my head. I was literally feeling for the main character. It was absolutely insane. This book is so good. It's really good. Like I said, it does have some trauma in it. So um, I would be cautious because um, there are for sure some triggers. But overall, this is like a 4.75. This is a fantastic book it's so good it's so good love it okay moving right along we have a variation of books in this month the uh, selection if you will <laughs> anyways the second book i read this month uh went viral on book talk and it is we were liars by e lockhart this book um, is worth the hype, in my opinion. Um, it's a great book. Essentially, what it's about is it's about a wealthy family, and every summer they go to their private island that their grandpa owns, and they hang out there. And we find out from the beginning that a tragedy, something of some sort, occurred on the island that left one of the kids with amnesia and brain damage. So this is, follows her um, along her trying to remember what occurred on the island and it just follows her as she tries to piece the story back together. Um, it is very entertaining. I'm not gonna lie, there were parts in it where I was like a little bored, but those were not, that was like split second portions because this is a really good book it is it's intriguing it's very it catches you and you're like okay what's gonna happen next you know um 
it is i don't want to say it's like a thriller but it is very psychologically like what like what happened and you're also trying to piece it together which is really fun so yeah we were live probably about a 4.75 as well really great book um the plot twist at the very end was insane but at the same time you're like no that makes sense and then you're like oh all of the book like clicks together and you're like dang how did i not see that you know it's one of those um great book 4.75 i do highly recommend it it was worth the hype book talk book talk book talk good job you did great all right next my favorite book of this month I'm not even gonna lie to you the first book in the selection series mm, this is just mm, mm. Kira Cass just knows how to write a book I will say full disclosure I love me a romance book love it you know what I love more than a romance book a romance book that has the regular Joe Schmo or Josephina Schmo what the regular average person falling in love with a famous person, a royal, someone of a higher status than them. Live for those kinds of books. Love them. Mwah. Love it so much. Give it to me. Give it to me. All the books like that. All the movies like that. We love it. The selection is that. And literally when I was reading it, the first thing I thought of was this is kind of like the Hunger Games. But like with no death. And like, not really too much suffering. You know, it's fun. It is so fun. The main character is America Singer. And in this world, there is a caste system. And she is not, you know, the poorest of the poor. But she is lower. Um, I believe she's like a five. And there's like a total of eight casts, I think. So, essentially, what it is, is in this universe, the prince needs to find a wife. And they go about that by doing a selection, which essentially is the girls from all over the town, no matter the cast, anybody can do it. They, like, apply to be the prince's wife. And once they apply, I believe it's 35 that get chosen, and they go and they live in the castle and it's kind of like the bachelor where the prince is like going through and trying to pick them and girls go get like ow and then like some stay really really fun um and this just follows the uh main character america singer as she um from the beginning very obviously thinks this whole thing is stupid but for certain reasons she ends up applying and she gets chosen to go and this is just follows her going through the selection um so fun literally this is like almost five it's like a 4.99 like this is so good i literally wanted to go buy the second book but i don't have money um oh i love this book so much good job good job here oh so good i love it i could talk about it all day we love it we love it Okay, my camera died, <laughs> but I'm back with the last book, Geekerella by Ashley Poston. Look at that shine, yes. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Beautiful cover, love it already. Um, I'm just a fan of literally any Cinderella spinoff, uh, always have been since I was little. So I was already like, ooh, you got me. <laughs> And surprise, surprise, it's about an ordinary girl falling in love with a superstar. <laughs> and as I literally just told you, I love that trope. Is it a trope? It's not, it should be. But I live for that. I live for that. So Geekarella is pretty much, it's about a girl called Elle. Not me just now realizing it's Elle as in Cinderella. And she loves the show Starfield. And 
the a guy called Darian is set to play him. And there's a cosplay concert, concert, not a concert, girl. There's a cosplay contest. And the winner gets to meet Mr. Darian. So, she's getting all dressed up. She's not too, like, into, like, meeting Darian. Like, she doesn't really care. Um, but they end up meeting through text. Although, neither one of them knows it. So this is just pretty much just follows them meeting, not knowing they're talking to each other, falling in love with each other, and then all of the like Cinderella-esque moments. Um, it's really good. It also, it has a little bit of a tearjerker part in it. Like I literally came out and I was crying. I was like, this is so sweet. I was literally like, I'm tearing up just thinking about it. It has some good, there's some good emotion in this book. The writing is good. The writing is to the point where you're like, ooh. Like the character you're supposed to hate, you hate. The character you're supposed to love, you love. So the writing is absolutely fabulous. I want this to be a movie so bad. Because in my head, the way I read books, I already kind of play it like a movie. And... The movie going on in my head while you was reading that was a great movie. This, honestly, is also probably like a 4.99. Um, such a good book. Um, obviously, romance. And uh, I love it. It is so good. Honestly, I'll probably read it again. Um, there's like there's like a lot of drama. And, and the good thing about this is it, it doesn't... It's not only focused on the superstar prince uh, Cinderella-esque aspect of it. There's actually depth to the characters and to the story, which is just absolutely lovely. Okay, guys, that is it for what I read in February. Such a good selection, such a variety, all above four stars, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, let's hope that March has the same energy. Um, seriously, y'all, go read these books. They're fantastic. But thank y'all so much for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Press the bell for more notifications. Press the bell for notifications. Um, go get your read on, guys. We love it. We love it. Go check out the books. They're fantastic. Yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. See you next time. Love you. Bye. Sparkly.